What's up all you lovely people? I am Double Delusional and today we are playing Port of Call. I just loaded up the game and I gotta say it looks fantastic and sounds awesome too. We got awesome looking water, an awesome bridge, and some lights. Ooh, a person. Let's go talk. What? Where'd she go? She's disappeared. What's wrong with this lantern? Broken lantern. The lamp looks broken. No point in messing with it. I will mess with it. No? Okay. There's a dude here. Hey, purple dude. Oi! Hello! <laughs> you there! You're late. You look like a pirate. Uh... <laughs> where the hell did you come from and who are you? Mind your manners and never your mind. Come on. Come on now, we got a lot of work to do. See me in the bridge. Uh, on board with you. Um, okay, Mr. Pirate Man. Holy shit, he disappeared. There's a ship! Auga. Your shelf. Mm, let's look around a little bit. Nothing. Empty. Empty again. Nothing there. Oh look, oh, it's it's a it's a wheel, a red wheel. This boat looks awesome. Where are we going? Let's go talk to the pirate captain. I like that light. It's it's like blue and purple. I love I love those colors. Look, globe. Maybe we're in the middle of the Atlantic. I can move it. Telephone, a rotary phone. This is it's a shame this thing is an antique. Damn it, I can't call for help if I need it. Rubber ducky. Is that rubber ducky? No, it's a lantern. Lines and shapes. Wouldn't have pegged him as an art guy. Hello. Boy. Alright, to business. I assume you know how to do your job. Get to it then. I'm the captain of this here hunk of scrap and I have I'll have no more dilly dallying. What are you talking about? Great, they've sent me another idiot. I'm not an idiot, you're an idiot, you're dumb. Just look at your purple coat. I haven't the time to hold your hand while you learn how to pick your nose. I have a ship to run. I guess I can start you off on a simple task, so that's not too hard for you, wee little brain. There's a little girl in the first cabin on the left. Go get her ticket. Little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without squirreling like a like a beast. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of you. <laughs> oh, please tell me the game didn't just crash. Nope, there it goes. Whoa! Are you guys shadows? It's a shadow boat. Spear boat? Um. Soul boat? I don't know. You should the first one on the left. What book? Why is it floating though? Oh well. Ooh, I can pick up the crayon. I'm gonna pick up all the crayons. Ooh, crayon over here. Dollhouse. It doesn't look inhabited. Inhabited. Toy train. Choo choo. I guess I'm a bit too old to play with the with toys. With the toys. Grandfather clock. Oh, the ticking of these things always drives my nuts. Toy chest. There's something creepy about this chest. Ooh, a lolly. What is that? Is it a lollipop? Lollipop. Ew, it looks like someone dropped their lollipop. Don't think anyone's gonna eat it now. I will. Give it here. Fish mine now. Hello. Don't eat me! Oh, who are you? Nobody, I guess. Hmm. -hmm. Well, you don't look like the boogeyman. Boogeyman? The tall, scary man. He has a hood and he's trying to eat me. Are you his scary friend? Uh, he's a grouch, but he doesn't look like a monster. He stomps around and makes weird noises. That's scary. And weird. Oh, didn't see it. 
I'm not sure. Thinking about it makes me feel funny. Oh, I was playing with Ted's. Who's Ted's? Ted's is the bestest bear in the world. He's my best friend. The last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Could you find Ted's? Sure. I'm taking a lollipop with me. Because it's mine. Any of you want my lollipop? Lick, lick. Lick, lick. Lick, lick, fat man. Okay. There's nothing in there. Book. Hmm. Ooh. Wonder. Can't throw it away. Nope. Makes sense up the gesture, though. I don't see a teddy bear. There's a teddy bear. Is that a teddy bear? That's the teddy bear. I found Ted. Got your lollipop. And your bear. <laughs> oh, Ted's. I've missed you so much. Hmm. <laughs> The last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted were playing together while Mom and Dad were gone. Why are you here now? I don't know. My memory gets all, all fuzzy after... after what? The three of us were playing hide and seek. Marcus, Ted's, and me, Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea. Why is there a book floating towards you? It, it stopped. Ted's had a great idea for... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ted's had a great idea for a hiding spot, so I listened to him. Where did you hide? We went to hide with the rest of Ted's friends in the toy chest. I climbed in, but the lid fell down, and it got dark. I got scared. Woo. The wooden lid was too heavy. I couldn't lift it off. What happened next? I called for Marcus as loud as I could, but he didn't come. It was so dark, and I couldn't breathe. And then it hurt. Why didn't Marcus find me? I'm sure he looked for you. Yeah, he always liked being Seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. Do you think he wanted to find me? I think Marcus wanted to find you. He seems like a good kid just like you. I think you're right. I remember hearing him call for me. I hope I see his dorky face again someday. Where did she go? This ship is giving me the friggin' creeps. I'm gonna pick up the blue ticket. Give me the lollipop. I guess now we go back to the pirate. Out of the way, motherfuckers. I got a lollipop I deserve to cut. You want a lollipop? Maybe for later. Mm -hmm. You got your first ticket. I guess you're not completely inept. The girl Lily made it sound like she was dead. And what of it? Oh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her. See here, loads of kids off it every day. And you don't give a rat's arse about any of them. Why would she be any different? Who was she? Do I look like I care? It doesn't matter. She's dead and so is most everyone on this wreck. Am I supposed to have a bleeding heart every time some kid shows up with a sob story? Bah! Anyways, I got another job for you now, what are you? Use the lift at the end of the hallway and go talk to the drunkard in the bar. I can't understand a thing the fat man says, and I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. You're stupid. Look at the purple fucking coat and your stupid beard. Fuck you, bye. Out of my way. I'm pushing through. Let's go talk to the fat man. Fat man. Go up. Go down. Ooh. Black and orange flames or a scaly surface? Pagon Pagoda bread. Bridge. Pagoda bread. Pagoda bridge. I've never had a chance to really travel. Okay, cool. It's <laughs> a lot of chatter for no one being here but that man in purple. Why is everyone wearing purple? I noticed that. Play the next song in the jukebox. Okay. Awesome. Ooh, a stage. Can I get down here and, and do a ding? I'll dance. I'm on a go ship. I'm on a go ship. I'm not getting any tips. Alright, enough of that. Hello. Now this is vinyl. Oh! Oh. Okay, apparently he talks with a fat voice. 
or a um, weird voice. Oh, you there. What kind of theory is this? I've been waiting for ages, you know. What are you talking about? The fairy man. Fairy man sent me. <laughs> <laughs> he did. Did he now? The old. Curmudgeon must have gotten sick of my nagging. Well, how about it then? Wanna serve an old man at the wink? I'm not the bartender, Gramps. Just give me your ticket. Uh, that's not really the attitude you want to be talking, taking with me, is it now? Let's try this another way. Make me a drink and I'll think about giving you my ticket. Hmm? Guess you're not really giving me a choice. What do you want then? Cheer up, son. A little drink never hurts anyone. Let's see, how about we throw it with something simple? Yeah, I think a, a, a gin and tonic would do nicely. Nicely. Uh, here you go, one joint. <laughs> Walk around here. Whoa, where'd it go? There it is. Ghost stools. I want to stack more stuff on you. Take the bottle. There we go. Ghost bottle. Okay. You want a you want a cup? Did I give you a cup? Nope. Um. That was rum. Okay. Rum and tonic. Okay, let's see. That's not what I asked for. Come on now, son. It's not that hard. Try again. Uh. Okay. This one. And uh, <laughs> this one, yes. <laughs> That's good. I'm gonna giggle every time I look at this guy now. <sighs> oh, that's the stuff. For such a sourpuss, you sure know how to make a drink. Thank you. Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? <laughs> it's gonna sound stupid, but I don't even remember my name. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't worry about too much about that. Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. <laughs> Get it? Floating because we're on a boat and oh, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's time for another drink. How? Why don't we get a little bit fancier? How about some vodka with orange juice? Okay. Um. Well, that has orange in it. Mm. Maybe this one. Oh, found it. First try. You look silly. You got a nice hat, though. <sighs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. You may not have to gab for a barkeep, have the gab for a barkeep, but your drinks almost make up for it. Now, what were we talking about? The ferryman told me everyone in the ship was dead. Do you think I'm dead? <laughs> well, you don't look quite dead to me, son. But if that's so, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on the ship's been dead for some time now. Well, except for the grouch in the raincoat. No one's quite sure about him. Do you remember how you died? Oh, that's a story I've not told in a long time, and not one a particularly with a particularly happy ending either. Are you sure you want to hear it? Sure, go ahead. I uh, I uh, had a daughter once, long, long time ago. Suffice to say, she died in an accident while she was young. When she was young, is that, is that that little girl's daddy? And my wife followed her soon after. Died of a broken heart. I guess. It was only me and my son then. Mm, and well, I took to drinking. It eventually did me in. Anyways, you know what they say. You can only drink yourself to death once. Cheers! You seem to know how you got here. Do I know? Do you know how I can tell if I'm dead? Now that's a question only you can answer. It's different for everyone. Give it some, some time though. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Now then, how about another drink? I think I'm feeling some old-fashioned rum and cola this time. Uh, okay, let's see. Cola? I picked up the rum earlier. This one. Mmm. -hmm. That's some strong drink. Thanks, Marcus. Am I Marcus? I think I'm gonna take a nap now. W wait, what did you call me? Oh, 
Oh, my bottle fell off. Give me your ticket. <laughs> my bottle. <laughs> my bottom. My bottle disappeared. Whoa. That was creepy. Why is she following me? Is it a girl or is it a guy? Or is it the guy in the raincoat? 